Hi everyone, my name is Mirko and I'm the head of the Qmatrix support team. In this video we will do a basic configuration of Qmatrix in order to run a simple call center. If you haven't done that already, check out the related video and learn how to install and connect Qmatrix to your PBX. Our test PBX has four queues and a couple of SIP extensions. The first step will be to tell Qmatrix which queues in the PBX we want to monitor. Let's log in with an administrator user and go into the edit queues page. Create the first queue adding a readable name and the queue number as defined in the PBX. Then save and repeat the steps for each queue. When finished you will also be able to create aggregate queues. In this way you can join related queues, making it easier to run reports. In this example I'm joining all the support queues into one and the same for the sales queues. In the end, let's create a special catch-all queue using an asterisk. Now it's time to create some users from the Edit Users page. For a basic configuration, you need to enter only a login name, password and the complete name of the user. After that, don't forget to select the proper user class. Different user classes have different access levels to the Qmatrix features. Supervisors can run reports and look at the real-time view page. Administrators will also be able to modify the configuration of Qmatrix. Agents in Qmatrix are the actual people talking to the phones. To create new agents, go into the Edit Agents page. The only two fields you need to fill in for a basic configuration are the asterisk code which must follow the agent slash number pattern and the agent description, basically the complete name. This will help Qmatrix show you readable names in the reports instead of numbers and codes. When finished, you need to create a user for each of your agents, using the same agent codes as login names. Remember to select the agent's user class. Now log in as an agent, you'll be put directly into the agents page. Open the agent logon window and log into a couple of queues. Remember to enter the number of the extension you are using in the current extension field. Now you can place some calls to the queues with another phone and verify that your extension is actually logged in. If you log in as a supervisor, you will see that the real-time page is reflecting what's happening in the queues.
you can also start a report and see the details of what happened in a specific period of time.